Welcome, everybody, to St. Patrick's Online Sunday Worship. On this, the first Sunday after Christmas Day, and the third day of Christmas. I hope you're all enjoying your three French hens. We have quite a variety of music that we can enjoy and sing along with today. And as usual, prayers that we can respond to and pray together. Linda's sermon today will help us reflect on the gift that God gave us in the Christ child, using the poem and hymn, Love Came Down at Christmas. With that in mind, let our Sunday worship begin with prayer. Let us pray the welcoming prayer together. Holy, Holy gracious, gracious God, God, we, we give, give you thanks, thanks for your unceasing presence, presence in our lives, our lives and for your open arms, arms embracing us in your love. We pray that as we welcome all who worship today, that we may recognize in each other the individual gifts your Holy Spirit has given to enrich the lives we touch. May all people see your love reflected in our faces as we serve in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you. And all of you. Peace be with 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 you. Show. Oh, oh, oh. 
The word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. A reading from the letter to the Galatians. Now before faith came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Therefore the law was our disciplinarian until Christ came so that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to a disciplinarian, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. Because you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So, you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir, through God. The word of the Lord. May these words open my heart.
A reading from the Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. Without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This is he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law, indeed, was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The word of the Lord. May, May these words open my heart. Let us pray. Light of life, you came in flesh born into human pain and joy. Grant us faith, Jesus, to see your presence among us so that all creation may sing new songs of gladness and walk in the way of peace. Amen. This year definitely brought many changes for all of us. Some we never reckoned on, but the Christmas season is a time of reflection. It is also a season of hope. As we approach the end of the year, it is natural to look back and reflect. At Christmas time, our hearts are turned towards home. We remember our childhood and those we love who may no longer be with us. We think about the challenges of the past year, as well as the many blessings and wonder what the future holds. We contemplate the unexpected things experienced and often looking back, we clearly see the hand of God guiding, protecting, and providing all along the way, even in adversity. While looking through the pages of the hymnal in the back of the Book of Common Prayer, I found the hymn, Love Came Down at Christmas. The words were written, written by poet Christina Rossetti and later set to music. This is a simple and beautiful hymn based on a poem written by Christina Rossetti. The hymn, Love Came Down for Christmas, is sincere and transmits the Christian mes message well. And the words count are, love came down at Christmas, love all lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas, stars and angels gave the sign. In the hymn, we hear of how love came down at Christmas in the form of a baby. 
We look into Chivity scenes with a newborn Jesus and still marvel at the miracle of not only a newborn baby, but that God chose to completely change his form to become human. God did it for love. God did this for us. God's love was not a self-serving love or a warm, fuzzy feeling love, but a love that makes a way for us to be in fellowship with him forever. It was his grand design in the beginning, and it was his great love that made a way for it to happen. God didn't just talk about love, his love was shown by action. For this is how much God loved the world. He gave his one and only son as a gift. God gave us the gift of Jesus. No matter what we have done, God loves us with everlasting, deep love, and he desires to have a personal loving relationship with us. God wants all of us to accept this Christmas gift he offers us. So how do we say thank you for a Christmas gift so magnificent? It is by loving the Lord our God with all our hearts and with all our souls and with all of our mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love our neighbor as yourself. The Christmas love shown through Jesus is divine love. God's love is so far reaching, it goes beyond the farthest star and deeper than the deepest ocean. In fact, it is difficult sometimes to fathom a love like this, that God found a way to transmit his love to us in a simple way through Jesus Christ. A baby who would later relate to us God's full message of love and fulfill the scriptures. The response we should have when we have accepted the love he has shown us and out of that love should come and come to love for others. We are called to be the light of the world and if we are followers of Jesus, our actions and words of love should shine like a bright light. And if we are to love like Jesus, that means caring deeply for all his people. It's action oriented. It's a love that benefit, benefits others before self. He showed love by caring for the physical and spiritual needs of many. Jesus showed us exactly what a compassionate, unconditional, sacrificial love looks like. So how can you can we show this his kind of love this Christmas season? John writes, Beloved, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Maybe we can show more love for the people God has given us in our lives. Perhaps we can find a way to open our hearts and reach out to those who are lonely or hurting. There are so many opportunities to give in the Christmas season. Love brings healing and offers hope. Christmas is God's love manifest in the person of his son, Emmanuel. Jesus Christ came to this earth to take away our sins. And he also came to love, heal, and restore our souls. God is our peace, and through sorrow, he is our, and he is our comfort. In times of uncertainty, he is our assur assurance and hope. I am thankful that when we are weak, script scripture tells us he is strong. During this Christmas season, remember the words to the song written so long ago. Love came down at Christmas. Cherish your loved ones and by your actions show them you care. Give the gift of love this year along with Christmas hope and cheer. Give words of faith and encouragement and be kind. Jesus Christ came into the world as the light to give to this world the true knowledge of God. The true knowledge of God is the life of this world. With this knowledge, we are saved and possess true joy. It is the knowledge of God as he is, the God of true righteousness and true love. Believing in Jesus and what he taught us makes us the sons of light who knows God and who possesses eternal life. 
The words of Christina Rossetti's poem reminds us not to keep this gift of love for ourselves, but to share and give it to others. Love was born at Christmas. Star and angels gave the sign. Love shall be our token. Love be yours and love be mine. Love to God and all men. Love for plea and gift and sign. Shine the light of Jesus' love this season in as many ways that you can. Remind the world that celebrating Christmas is celebrating the light and love of Jesus. Seasons come and seasons go, but the simple gifts of love we give are the gifts that last a lifetime. May God's love be with you this Christmas season and always. Amen. Let us affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. And on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As our Savior, Christ, has taught us, let us pray together. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together in the prayer for the fulfillment of our mission. Help us to be a total ministry congregation who brings Christ to the world by encouraging individuals to discover and use their spiritual gifts in the church and in the community. Amen. A colic for the first Sunday after Christmas. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. We ask your blessing on the ministry of Marlene and Ir Irwin Sternweiss and Tom Straker for all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For the Alzheimer's Association and the Active Adult Center. For all who work for justice, justice freedom, and peace. peace. We pray for the just and proper use of your creation. For the, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. We seek your guidance for St. John's in Detroit, St. Andrew's in Waterford, St. Paul the Apostle in Germany, and Jesus the Pilgrim in Barahona, Dominican Republic, and for Christians in other denominations, and the work of the ecumenical movement, for the peace and unity of the Church of God, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth, for our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, for our bishop, Bonnie Perry, and for all bishops and other ministers, 
for all who serve God in his church. We lift to you, Lord, the needs and concerns of this congregation. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life, especially the ministry of our choir and musicians. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise, and your, praise name your name forever, forever and, and ever. ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your love and kindness be upon them. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy on us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life. To the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ and strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Good morning. Our virtual Sunday coffee hour will begin when this service ends. You can stay online, share holy moments we've experienced during the week, and have some friendly conversation. New Year's Eve, all are invited to log in to Zoom at 7 p.m. on New Year's Eve for some friendly conversation, maybe a game or two, and sing Old Lang, Lang Syne. The Madison Heights Food Pantry appreciates our donations of non-perishable food and personal hygiene items. Please bring them in plastic bags, which can be placed anytime 24-7 in the bins, which are now inside St. Patrick's main entrance. The refrigerator page and prayer list are being emailed and mailed along with a link to a recording of today's Zoom worship service. The prayer list and worship links are also on the online worship page of stpatsmh.org. Thank you for your support of the ministries of St. Patrick's. Pledges and offerings can be mailed to Greg Marshall or on the Make a Donation page at stpatsmh.org. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. How could it be this baby in my arms, sleeping now so peacefully? The Son of God, the angel said, how could it be? Lord, I know he's not my own, not of my flesh, not of my bone, still Father, let this baby be. Son of my love. Father, show me where I fit into this plan of yours. How can a man be father to the Son of God? Lord, for all my life I've been a simple carpenter. How can I raise a king? How can I raise a king? He looks so small, his face and hands so fair. And when he cries, the sun just seems to disappear. But when he laughs, it shines again. How could it be? Father, show me where I fit into this plan of yours. How can a man be father to the 
Son of God. Lord, for all my life I've been a simple carpenter. How can I raise a king? How can I raise a king? Son of God, the angel said, how could it be? How could it be? How could it be? Let us pray together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ and for the means of grace and for and the, the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, hearts we may show forth your praise, praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, our lives by giving up our ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Now may the fragrance of his peace soar through your heart like the dove released. May all your steps walk in heaven's endless light beyond this Christmas time. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Like humble shepherds and herald angels, let us go tell it on the mountain, in the valleys, and in our neighborhoods that Jesus Christ is born. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.